for today's video. We are going to do a review. Uh, some of you, I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of this new app. It's called Timu. And what is Timu? Uh, Timu is an app that is pretty much just like Wish. You can go on here, you can order all kinds of discount items, and of course, you have to wait for shipping because it's from China. But the cool part is, when you first start using Timu, the shipping is free. Downfall, the packaging is horrible. They send it in this orange bag to match what the app looks like, and then they just like packing tape it. And it looks like somebody tried to break into it, realized it's stuff that they're not gonna want and then just like taped it and hope nobody noticed. So they need to step up the packaging game. But I did order a few things. I did two separate orders to see because the first time when I got the way it was packaged, I was like, so I did a second order and the packaging came the same. So obviously that's just how they do their packaging. Um, but for today, we're going to review a couple uh, different crochet hooks that they sell on their website. So the first one that we're going to review is this set right here. So it comes in this case, these are all the hooks, and then you get all this extra things with it. Um, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine metal um, threading needles, but they're more like the size of a yarn needle. So they just don't bend. They're not the plasticky ones. You get a measuring tape, a stitch counter, a pair of scissors, and some uh, stitch markers. Uh, and then like a, it's like a weird, I think it's supposed to be a ring that also doubles as like a, I don't know exactly what it is. The picture looks weird. So once we get this open and I see it, I might be able to be more specific on what that item is. The other one, and sorry, I paid $10.98. And according to them, normally it sells for $21.49. Um, so is that a good deal? We'll find out. Next set that I ordered, it's eight pack of crochet hooks that are curved. So that's what they look like. I paid $5.98 for them. So less than a dollar each, which is that's definitely a good deal. It doesn't have one of those prices saying compared to. So it is what it is. So, and in this picture, they do kind of look like they're that rubber grip handle. So we're gonna try both of them out and um, see how they work. So I'm gonna change the angle and I've got them right here. So here's the eight pack and here's the set. So we're gonna try both of these out. All right, so I pulled out some yellow yarn because it's bright color and it'll be easy for you guys to see. So we're gonna start with the eight pack. Pretty simple. I do like the fact that the print is clear. That's always a nice thing. So it opens up like a book. They are pretty colors. I like that that color and I like this one. Let's see. Okay, so these are plastic.
this is plastic. Yeah. So let's see. So I grabbed the nine, the five, five point five. All right. Well. So I'm just gonna chain. Let's see. So this one's running pretty smooth. My yarn has a weird split in it. Odd. It feels kind of weird here because of the fact that it's not straight and I'm not used to curved. I'm used to always using straight, but I mean, for the most part, it feels pretty smooth. Pushed through that pretty decently. So it's going through that really nicely. I can't complain about it. I'm pretty sure the curved of the handle after a while I I get used to it. But it does feel weird at first, let me tell you. So let's try another one. one from the opposite side in the book. The book box. Why not? We'll try the purple. Oh, this is where my yarn split, so I can't exactly judge the hook here. So let's scooch past this. Okay, so this hook So I don't know if there's like a finish on this or something, but when the yarn's sliding right here, you can feel it's kind of rough. It's not smooth. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I liked how this one worked, but this one was a little rough. I would probably say, especially for the price, these are pretty decent hooks. Um, again, there's the, the label. I... I want to like these because of the fact that it's rounded and I'm pretty sure if I was sitting there crocheting for a couple hours it may help my hand not cramp up so much so I mean I'm doing this in under five minutes so <laughs> based on the quickness I'm going I would say this hook would be good if you're traveling so like let's say you're going on a road trip and you take yarn with you for those down moments and you sit and you crochet or you're in the car and you're moving around your luggage this and that and somehow you magically lose your hook because I know that's happened to me before I would say this would be the hook to take with you just in case it does get lost eight hooks for what five just under six dollars I would say this would be a good traveling hook. So that's my opinion on those. So I'll keep these. I'll just put a little mark on which ones are not smooth, just so I remember. But other than that, okay, this one, that one was there. I hope I'm putting this back right. 
And then I'm gonna say that one's there because it's kind of small, smaller. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I probably wouldn't keep them in this case because I do like the little, I like these carrying bags. So, speaking of the carrying bag, let's see. This print is kind of hard. The greatest happiness in life. Happiness in life. Yeah, the greatest happiness in life. That's kind of cute. It's a metal snap. I appreciate that, not those plastic ones. That's a good strong zipper. And here is what I'm opening up to, if I can get the flap to stop. Okay, so we've got a bunch of hooks and they're rubber. <gasps> Yay! I prefer the rubber. Oops, as I drop them. Okay, so we have rubber handles. That I think is that weird metal, that soft metal, not plastic. These feel good. If you are the type that prefer a rubber grip, these feel really nice. Okay, so there's, I've got the hooks. Scissors, cool. Can never have enough scissors, let me tell you. Here's all the needles. I do like the fact that it come in this nice little tube. So, so there you go. That's nice. That's how you not lose them. Everybody needs that, right? Measuring tapes are always welcome. The stitch markers are just in there. There's your row counter, stitch counter, whatever you use it for. Everybody has their preferences. This was the ring thingy that I was telling you about. And it looks like it's for cutting. So you know what you do with this. You're getting on the airplane, you need a pair of scissors, but you can't bring scissors on a plane. Hide that in your pocket. Right? Like, oops. Just kind of. Okay, well. Okay, so for me, it fits on my pinky. So you're crocheting and then you just. And I do know from past experience, I did take the Greyhound to Texas a long time ago. You cannot bring scissors on the bus, but you can bring a pair of nail clippers. Granted, this was before COVID, may have changed since then, but this would have been a great idea because the bus driver would have never known. I like that. I'm keeping that doohickey. And all the st stitch markers. You can never have enough of these, let me tell you. And this is the style I prefer. Okay, so this bag is really cute. It's nice and it's it's thick, so that $10 and some change was worth it. I'm so excited for the grip. Okay, so I guess we're using this one. So to continue where I was, let's see how this one acts. So this hook is bigger than the other two that I was testing with. Splitting, yep. But, okay, so even though <laughs> you can tell the size difference, it's funny. Even though this is a bigger hook, it feels good. I like the grip. 
Definitely love that. So now that it's going to be Yeah, that feels good. So I definitely like the grip. Feels really nice. Try a different one. Let's go with this reddish colored one. It's a little bit smaller. This, so that one was a 6.5. So instead of printing, they did the indent press, which is nice because that'll never rub off. So now we're going to the 4.5. Yeah, this is nice. I love the grip. I, I don't think I'm going to say that enough. Let me just say it one more time. I'm loving the grip. Okay, I split my yarn there. Let me try that again. Okay. So if you guys decide to go on Timu and order yourself a new set of hooks, y'all want to get this pack because... That grip feels really nice, let me tell you. So, okay, I'm getting a knot in my yarn, and I don't want to fuss with it. So, I would tell you guys my personal opinion. These hooks are super nice. If you're going to do a really long project, I could see where this can help your hands stay comfortable, but you know, we still want to do our stretches and everything. Plus you get, this is like the coolest. This is the first time I've ever seen this. So I'm a little high on this right now. Loving that. I'm kind of curious, how well does it work? Let's find out. Cause I want to know. Ah. So over the yarn knots. So I know I have that junk spot, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put my pinky ring on in hiding mode, from incognito. And I'm just gonna kinda hook, holy. Dude, <laughs> I have a new favorite toy. Oh my God, that was awesome. <laughs> watch, watch. Okay, okay, I'll put it here. This is cool. That was so easy. Watch. I just pulled it. I have a new toy. Okay, and in case you haven't noticed my excitement. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but that 10 and change that I paid for this, this right here made it all worth it. This is the best. Because when now, when I'm crocheting in the car, I don't have to worry about bringing scissors. So get this one um but yeah i would say pay the 10 and some change get this one but like i said if you want basic plastic ones that are quick and easy and if you lose it whatever i would get that one but if you want that cool doohickey <laughs> this is the set so i am going to end this video on that note saying that if i had to choose between the two different sets. I'm over here. This is a good backup. So thank you guys for watching. If this was informative and you're happy you got to watch this and got this information from me, please give me a thumbs up. And as long as you're there clicking on that thumbs up button, why don't you scooch over just a little bit and click on that subscribe button. Then 
scooch over a little bit more. There's the notification bell. That will let YouTube know to let you know every time I've uploaded another video. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.